Yo, 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 what is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping back by. So, we've got another exclusive gaming headset. This bad boy just dropped, and it is by a company you might have heard of called Skull Candy. That's right, Skull Candy. This is their brand new Pro Universal gaming headset. This is the Wage. Um, this bad boy comes in right around like 45 bucks on Amazon. Uh, 3.5 millimeter input uh, for PC, Xbox One, PS4, uh, Nintendo Switch, even probably the next gen consoles, PS5, and the new Xbox. I don't remember what the name of it is, but this bad boy should work on all the above consoles. Uh, this has the 50 millimeter drivers for supposed clear and superior sound. It has a boom mic that mutes uh, when you raise it up and down. Uh, or, well, it mutes when you raise it up. Yeah, there we go. Uh, this one here comes in uh, black and uh, green accents. As you can tell there, that's what I opted out for was the black and green, uh, which I would think represents Xbox. And you can also get it in a black and blue, which I guess ultimately represents PlayStation. Even though both headsets work on either console, um, it's just a, whatever your color preference. Um, $45, 50 millimeter drivers. Flip up uh, and flip down boom mic that mutes when you flip it up. I think I got that right. Um, supposed to be really good sound quality. Um, Skull Candy, I have only had one set of Skull Candy ear, earphones, uh, earbuds before, and they sounded pretty good. So hopefully they transferred some of that technology from their earbuds over to this gaming headset. So enough of me jacking my jaw. Let's get to the unboxing and let's review this thing and see what it sounds like. We'll play a little Fortnite as usual and we'll get into it. So stick around. We'll be right back, guys. I see dead eyes on the verge of suicide. I realize it's not alright. I'll find my way to itemize it in my eyes. All right, guys, so we just unboxed uh, this Wage uh, Pro Universal Gaming Headset, model uh, WMAGY, um, and there's some things I like about this gaming headset right off the bat, and there's some things that I particularly don't like about this gaming headset. Uh, first, with the cons, um, it doesn't have a braided cable. And if you've been a part of my community and you've known me long enough, when Worm does a review for a gaming headset, he likes a braided cable. This, on the other hand, is sort of a thick cable. I will give it that, but it is that uh, rubbery-esque type feel. Um, it does have the uh, gold 3-pole, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on it. Um, another Another con on this is... Do you see these exposed wires? That is just to me, in my opinion, it's just unprofessional and it looks really ugly. Um, another thing, um, you know, I, I don't particularly like this faux leather that they put on the ear cups. Um, because if you game for any length of time and you got some heat coming from you, you get hot headed, you rage at the game. You start sweating, and you be, you're a big guy like me. You sweating more than the average feller. Your ears are going to roast in these things, man. I'm telling you, I know because I've had several of these headsets with this material. Um, I think the mesh material is much more uh, uh, appropriate because the mesh breathes, and it's uh, not as hot, and it doesn't cause you to sweat as much. Um, another thing, uh, this microphone. The microphone is stiff as a board. You cannot bend this microphone 
to to shape it, to form it, to fit it to your face. Let's just face it. Every person has a different size head. Every person has a different uh, contour to their face. Therefore, the microphones that they put on these headsets should be bendable to where you can shape it and form it to your the fit of your face. Um, you know, that's a that's another thing I don't like. What I do like about it, though, I do love the, the 90 degree swivel on the headset, uh, on the ear cups yourself, because if you want to rest the gaming headset on uh, your shoulders, if you don't have a fat uh, neck like me, <laughs> I mean, it just won't work for a fat guy. I mean, look at that. Does that look really attractive? No, it doesn't. Anyway, if you're a skinny fella and you got a neck, yeah, this is, that's really cool to where you can rest them on your neck. Uh, I love the uh, metal banding on this. And then you've got like the telescopic uh, foam uh, headband. These things are really comfortable. I've owned a few of these headsets that have this type of build. Um, and they're really comfortable. Um, uh, that's another thing I like about it. I love the fact that uh, you're able to mute the microphone by flipping it up. That is always easier than trying to find a button. Uh, say if you've got to go take a break right fast. You can just flip it up and it mutes. I love that they put the um, the volume rocker on the back of the ear cup. That way there is no uh, actual volume rocker on the wire. That way you don't have a bunch of weight dangling when you're trying to play a game. So that's also another feature. Um, but the one, the one thing that really turns me off is this exposed wire. Uh, because if you could see the exposed wire, it runs up into the headband. And when the headband moves, the wire moves. That there, to me, is just a major, major flaw. Uh, you know, as far as comfortability, uh, my hair is probably messed up, so excuse me for that. But we'll see uh, We'll see how comfortable they are. And, uh... Okay, now, uh, now this, is, this is what I'm talking about, the microphone. You see where this mic comes down on me. The mic comes down on me. I don't know, it's like probably three or four inches from the face. Now, if it doesn't have a good microphone, it's not going to sound that good, which I don't know what it sounds like. It might be the best daggone microphone that you can get for a $45 gaming headset. Um, it looks pretty cool. Um, it feels pretty good. But if you're, to me, if you're just looking at this gaming headset from afar off, it literally looks like maybe a $10 or $15 gaming headset that you could buy at the Family Dollar Store. Um, it looks relatively cheap made other than, like I say, the metal banding and the actual foam headband that goes up here. Um, that might just be me nitpicking. Um, I think this is uh, Wage's first gaming headset, which Wage is made by Skull Candy. So hoping, uh, hope, 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 hope. I'm hoping Skull Candy put their technology into the mic and into the sound quality of these. Uh, because if they didn't, this is $45 wasted, unfortunately. So, I've talked enough. Um, let's get to the testing. Hooking this up through um, a computer, uh, through OBS, and then we're going to play a little PlayStation 4. Oh, that is another thing. If you wanted to hook this up to a computer, this does not come with a 2 to 1 splitter that you need for a computer. You have to actually buy that separate. Good thing me being a gamer and live streamer, I have a few of those hang, uh, hanging around here. Uh, so, yeah, they didn't include that. So, that's another that's another con. So, yeah, <laughs> let's try this thing out. We'll be right back, guys. What is up, guys? Here we are. We're back with the Wage Pro Universal Gaming Headset, the WMAGY model number, that is. Um, we have got the headset hooked up through our computer, through OBS. Um, I did have to rough, rustle up a 2 to 1 PC cable because, well, they don't send a 2 to 1 PC cable. Um, everything on OBS is flatlined. Um, there is no filters or nothing uh, on, um, so there's nothing that's being enhanced or nothing being edited. This is raw game footage, uh, raw footage that you're hearing uh, through my voice. I have no idea what this sounds like. Um, I don't know what the microphone sounds like. I don't know if it's loud. Um, so, okay. So I have the volume all the way up on the headset 
And I can tell you right now. <laughs> Okay, I already got that bundle. I got that bundle like last week. Uh, Were you being epic? I got it at Walmart, bro. It's a cool. It's a cool bundle though. If you guys can get it, definitely get it. It's thirty bucks. But it's really awesome. Um, anyway, um, the audio, the game audio that comes through this thing, um, like that music it displayed on the last laugh bundle right there, it wasn't very spectacular. I just be honest with you. Um, so I'm actually going to pause this. And wait till I get into some gameplay and fire the shotgun, um, um, AK-47, to see if it even sounds good. It's, right now, it's just really sounding mediocre, to be quite honest with you. Uh, so let me pause this till I get in the game, and then you know I'll be right back. All right, so we just jumped off the the bus, and I'm just doing the sounds of the glider. Um, it sounds okay, but it doesn't sound extraordinary, extraordinarily awesome, uh, especially with this having 50 millimeter drivers. I um, mean, you can hear things. Don't get me wrong, but it's not it's not like blowing my mind the way that I think a, a fifty dollar gaming headset would cost. Okay, so all right, I can hear her footsteps. All right, tack. Okay, now the tax the tax sounds really good. I will say that the tax sounds really good. I can hear the footsteps, so the audio the audio sounds sounds okay. Um, it, it, it don't sound like total trash the way I was thinking it was going to. It sounds all right with the loud the loud shots and whatnot. Uh, I don't care about none of that. I want to get down here and I want to do something. I'm probably going to get copyrighted for this, but I'm okay with that. Um, so here we go. Ooh, I'm blinded by the light. Oh, and I just got killed, you son of a biscuit. Uh, so there you go, guys. The audio sounds all right coming through the 50 millimeter drivers. Um, I don't know exactly what the microphone sounds like. Um, yes, teabag me, baby. I love it. But in my honest opinion, uh, I think this game has headsets $45. Um, in my honest opinion, I think that you can buy just as good head uh, gaming headset or better gaming headset for probably less than probably... Uh, Probably about $30 you can buy just a good gaming headset as this one is. Because um, there's a lot of there's a lot of Chinese companies out there that make really good gaming headsets. Um, in my honest opinion, I, would, I, w I wouldn't buy this gaming headset. Even though it sounds alright, um, it is pretty comfortable. Um, once again, I don't know what the mic audio sounds like in it. You guys be the judge of that. But for $45, I would buy a different brand. Much love. God bless you guys. I hope you found the video informative, and we'll catch you on the flip-flop. Also, I'm on Twitch. Go check me out on Twitch, uh, Mr. Big Worm underscore. Uh, later, guys.